Welcome back. Today we're going to be learning the sponge balls. I have my assistant, Jen. She's going to be helping us out today. What we have is we have two sponge balls and we're going to need our assistant. Um, I'm going to give you one of these sponge balls. Can you hold out your hand? Uh, can you close your hand tight around those? How many did I give you? One. I'm going to say the magic words. We're going to go one, two, three. Say the magic word. Hobby quest. Why don't you open that up for me? Ooh. <laughs> Now, I'm gonna, you can put those down for a second. I'm going to ask you a pretty simple question. What shape is this? Round. Round. Now, we're going to see if we can do a little magic today. Uh, are you right-handed or you left-handed? Right-handed. You're right-handed. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to open up your right hand, and I want you to hold on to this for me, and we're going to say the magic words on the count of three. We're going to go one, two, three. Say the magic word. Tommy Quiz. Perfect. I want you to open that up for me. I thought you said that they were round. <laughs> and just like that we have the sponge balls. Now for the explanation of the sponge balls. What we have is two round sponge balls and one square sponge ball. We're going to start with how to set up the square sponge ball. Be very careful with this. What we're going to do is we're going essentially going to turn the square sponge inside out. So you can see there's a little hole in the bottom. This looks like this. And we're going to take and very slowly and very carefully take our thumbs, push it through inside itself, and it'll form a round looking sponge ball. Now sitting next to one of the other sponge balls, just like that, it will look okay. Now here's the first phase of this routine. We're going to start, we're going to have our two sponge balls on our table, and we're going to have a, a secret sponge ball hidden in our hand, just like this. I like to hide it under my three fingers, just like this. Now what we're going to do is we're going to pick up the sponge ball with our two fingers, and secretly add the second sponge ball. It's going to look like this. So we have our hidden sponge ball right here, and we're going to pick up the other one. You can even just place the sponge ball right on top. Quick motion, they'll never know that it's two. Once again, have it hidden in our hand, place your sponge ball, your hidden sponge ball right on top, pinch them together just like this, have your assistant open their hands, Tell them I'm placing it in your hand and quickly shut it. Quickly shut it. Perfect. How many sponge balls did I give you? One. They're going to say one. Open up their hands. And two will pop out. Once again, hidden sponge ball in our hands. Sponge ball on the table. Place it directly on top. Squeeze them together. Have your helper put it directly into your hand. Tell them to close it as fast as they can. Open it up. Just like that, it's two. Now we're going to work with this one. We're going to move these out of the way. Now we're going to talk a little bit because we need a couple of seconds of misdirection so we can secretly unfold this. Now what you can say is, generally speaking, well, what would you say that the shape is of these? Round. Round. Now while she was talking, I was starting to unfold well, I started to unfold and keeping it pinched together just like this. Open up your hand. It is now pretty much unfolded itself. Place in your hand, quickly shut it. Open it up. You should have a square. Say, hey, I thought you said it was round. And that's the end of our sponge ball routine.